Hey friends, Nibs again. How you doing today? I want to get out and uh, do a little shooting today. Sun's right in my face here, but I want to get out and do a little shooting and uh, show you guys another cool gun out of my collection. This one's uh, this one's pretty special here, um, and uh, we'll talk about why it's special in a couple minutes. But uh, just want to thank everybody for uh, coming and joining my channel. Uh, membership's growing pretty pretty fast, pretty quick. Um, really happy with that. I'm glad to see everybody uh, subscribing and uh, and giving me the likes and everything. So if uh, if you like the channel. Um, why don't you share it with your friends, see if we can uh, keep this growing here. Um, but uh, had a great day today, finally got a project done that we've been working on for quite a while. Uh, COVID really messed things up, uh, supply chain uh, for parts and stuff and uh, actually put one of our suppliers out of business so um, that was that was pretty tough so we had to end up uh, uh, kind of revamping uh, a whole system. We were just trying to add one one site in, but uh, it uh, didn't work out because we couldn't get the parts for the one site. So um, had to revamp the whole system to replace it with another part. So anyway, that was a, a long drawn out battle and uh, even getting the parts from the second supplier was uh, took a long time just because of the, the chip shortage and all that. So. A uh, real big win today for, for me and my company, so we uh, went pretty happy with that. So um, so what I have here today, um, you guys, uh, if you watch my channel at all for a little while, you know I really like my Mossbergs. So, uh, so this one here is a uh, <clears throat> Mossberg Model 43S. And uh, the 43, it's very similar in shape and size to a uh, like a 44 US, but it is an older model, um, and it has the, the metal trigger guard instead of the plastic one that comes down all the way to the grip. Um, uh, this was maybe, maybe the forerunner, I guess, to the design where they got the, the, the 44 US. I'm guessing anyway so um, the 43s uh, was actually made uh, best I can tell about 36 and 37 uh, is what uh, I found online um, they uh, they did make a 43 and a 43 B that were very similar uh, could be very similarly outfitted as this one um, the 43 s uh, denotes that it was made for the uh, Spiegel uh, department store uh, back in the uh, back in the day. They were uh, a really big department store, uh, catalog store, uh, very similar to Sears, uh, one of Sears' main competitors, I believe, back in those days. Um, and uh, they had Mossberg make them like special edition guns of this and that and usually had some sort of uh, markings on them that would denote that they were specially made for them and this one's one of those. Um, the, the 43 and the 43B, you could get the sights that are on this, it's got a Lyman um, 57 sight but it also has a Model 4A uh, adjustable peep sight on it or adjustable uh, aperture on it so that was something that could have came on other uh, Mossbergs on there, like their number four site as well. But uh, it does fit on the, uh, the Lyman 57. And it also has a uh, Lyman uh, 17A globe on the front, which is really nice. Um, so uh, it has a, uh, I believe it's seven round uh, box magazine. Um, it's recessed up inside the stock pretty good there. Um, it's got a pretty heavy uh, full beaver tail front st uh, sight or stock. Um, it does have uh, sl sling swivels fore and rear that are, uh, and then the front one is actually uh, adjustable for where you'd want it to hang. Um, the uh, the stock on this one uh, very nicely finished. Uh, not that Mossbergs are 
are terribly finished, uh, but this one has got a darker stain, it's got a little bit nicer finish to it. Um, really nice, really nice walnut on this one. Um, <clears throat> what else can I say about this guy before we start shooting? Um, I really do like the uh, older Mossbergs. I mean, I have a lot of the Mossbergs that have the plastic trick garden. I don't have any any big problem with them, but just a, just something nice about this uh, this metal trigger guard and that plastic trigger guard had a tendency to shrink and crack and stuff uh, over age uh, when they aged, and uh, you know this metal ain't going anywhere. So um, just something a little bit nicer about that durability on there. Um, so. Um, just been out here plinking around, uh, um, doing one of my uh, other favorite things I like to do um, out in our this range here. Uh, uh, you can see him off in the in the distance here. This is uh, about 90% of what goes on here is actually trap shooting. Uh, they got I think 25 trap houses here. They have huge tournaments and stuff. But uh, so I can walk out in the field there and pick up. Um, unbroken clays and then we just hang them on the chicken wire at our target stands and that's a lot of fun to plink with those so something a little different um, I do have the gong but I didn't put it out there so I just wanted to get out here and uh, shoot a couple uh, clay pigeons and, and let you guys see this old this old girl here um, one of the things I like to do and this this gun is actually accurate enough to do it is uh, most of the time if you hit the uh, the clay pigeon right in this little thin center disc you can put a hole right through it without busting the rest of the disc um, so I, I always try to take out the center first and then and then take out the outside piece afterwards so um, just a little bit extra uh, challenge I guess you'd say um, that uh, I did do that already it I've got some at 25 and I've got some at uh, 50 um, I did shoot the center out and then knock out the rest of it uh, a couple times already at both distances. So um, that sun is uh, is pretty rough though on these. Uh, it's not as bad as it would be with a scope, but it still is pretty rough. Oh, that one I did not get the center, but I did I did kill the clay. So. Uh, there's still about half of one hanging there, so let me see if I can get the other half of it down. Yep, I got it, and I did not break my clothespin. That's that's the key. You gotta get as much of the clay pigeon gone, and not shoot your clay your your clothespin because I hang them up with uh, clothespins, not like they're a million dollars or anything, but they uh, it's like a at the Dollar General in Bridgeport here. They're I think two bucks for a hundred or something. So I know I'm a tight wad. So let's try one at 50 yards. See what we can do. So I got it zeroed perfectly at 25. So I got it hold just over just a little bit. I think I missed. I don't think I hit it at all. Got to hold over just a little. Too much and you miss though. Oh, there I got it. I actually did shoot the center out of that one. Uh, I can see the big chunk of uh, the center gone out of the middle of it. So Let's see if I can get the rest of it. Let me throw another five in there. I don't want to keep you guys all day long here, but uh, I hope we're having fun watching the clay pigeons get broke. Or, uh, listening to me narrate the clay pigeons get broke anyway. This 
is definitely a great way to you know to blow off some steam though after a, a busy day a stressful day uh, it wasn't too stressful everything went pretty well actually uh, but uh, you know sometimes working where you're having to do a lot of thinking is actually more more taxing on your uh, you feel more tired after the day from that than you do there it goes I got it all right let me get one more here at 25 I got a couple more bullets here Oop. I, I, I hit it in the center but it knocked the bottom off it you don't always win when you try to knock the center out Ooh, knocked another little piece off it. Let me see if I can kill the rest of it without hitting my clothespin here. Ah, I missed it. All right, well, I won't keep you guys too much longer, but uh, I'll kill the rest of those off, off camera. But <laughs> um, anyway, um, there you guys go. This is the uh, Mossberg Model 43. S, um, and uh, that does make a, a difference as far as the, the fit and finish of it goes. Um, at the Spiegel really wanted them to be uh, kind of more of a high-end uh, type of arrangement on, on their guns, um, and you can see that in the, uh, just how this, this stock is really nice. They, they wanted the better figure in the, in the wood, and uh, also, another thing that uh, kind of tips you off that it was a Spiegel gun, um, a lot of the Mossbergs did not come from the factory drilled and tapped for target scopes, but uh, the Spiegels almost all did. So here's the front block, and then here's for the rear block back here on the receiver. So um, this is the, uh, the 4A uh, peep sight, and you just rotate this back ring it's a little stiff on this one, but you rotate this back ring and it actually has four different size um, four different size apertures that you can use depending on uh, what your target you're shooting at is. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> um, other than that, uh, I guess I'll let you guys go. Um, if you like my video, uh, give me a thumbs up. And again, like I said before, subscribe to my channel and you'll get uh, notified uh, when I do post up new videos. Um, and uh, down in the description, you'll see some links for uh, my Facebook and MeWe groups that are, uh, you know, I guess sister groups for this Walnut and Steel channel on, on YouTube here. Um, that's uh, the, the Facebook one uh, has grown very well over the years and uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, the MeWe one, yeah. I like MeWe because uh, you can talk about the buying and selling stuff without having to uh, you know, worry about getting shut down. But uh, Facebook, you got to be real coy about stuff or just don't do it at all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.